I'm at Nomad Music Store in my local area, and I have a specific guitar in mind, and I hope they have it. Let's go check it out. John! Hello, sir. My guy. My so dude. I woke up this morning, and I was like, I want Ed Sheeran's signature guitar. I saw it on Instagram. Do you have an Ed Sheeran signature guitar? I'm pretty sure we have something just like he plays right over here. Just follow me this You're way. kidding me. He's playing one of these. Okay. Or one of these. I mean, uh, this is the Ed Sheeran guitar? I, I'm kind of looking for this one. Cause like all this, we don't really need, right? Cause I'm gonna be playing pop music on it, right? So None of those are necessary parts of the guitar you're gonna utilize. That's absolutely correct. So I'm thinking if we like, if it was this up, that would be absolutely ideal. More than sufficient. Do you have a chainsaw? What the hell? Wait a minute, is this an amp? Your table saw base is a PV amp? It's on wheels. That's how we roll. Okay, no, I get that. That works, that works. Um, We may have to play the Ed Sheeran signature through this amp. I just now noticed your sh your hat says budget MGK. It, it actually does. <laughs> it actually does, Steve. Is that why you have the budget MGK guitar? <laughs> Are you that big of an MGK fan or? I hate his guts. Okay, cool. Perfect. <laughs> Everyone's got to have an angle to start, guys. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Let's see if I have power. Oh, geez. We got okay. power. So we got power. Okay, I, I honestly don't know too much about guitars. You're the guitar guy. Do these have rods in them? They do. It's a truss rod and... I don't trust it. I don't trust it either. So we're gonna have to cut through that. Is this gonna cut through a truss rod? It's going to cut through it, but it's gonna get... Uh, sparks are gonna fly. No, actually? Actual sparks are gonna fly. So we may need safety goggles. I'm getting nervous. I know. Cause it was like a fun idea. Now that we're here, it's just like... You do it! This is the first time I'm operating a saw in my entire life. That's not even a lie. Are you down tuning for gents, Steve? <laughs> On a three fretted guitar? Yeah. Yes. Because I'm assuming we don't want to cut through those. They will, we will get it in the throat for sure. Let's be like I say we take that fret out and that's where we cut. Where that's where we cut? Right, right above cut. the fret then. Right above the fret? Okay. Or below, what do you? I'm saying through the fret. Take the fret out and use that as our line. Through the fret, what do you mean? Hold on, we pull it out. We do a bop there. And oh! Pull this fret out, and then that's like the right. These cut. come out. That's what I'm saying. I was like, these were built into the tree, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no. So we need to get underneath this guy a little bit, right? Okay. Yeah. I've never seen this process being done. That's gonna fly and hit me right in the eye, isn't it? No, it should be all right. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Wow. And now that's our cut line. And we got a straight line. Wow, that was good thinking. Boom. High five. High five. Okay. So okay. we want this to be. That's about where we're gonna cut it, right? Right. That's about pretty. That's close. not too bad. That's I've seen worse. <laughs> You've seen worse situations while cutting a guitar. Yeah. John. Uh, well, I've cut a few guitars. Not not down the middle of the neck. Been there, done that. Have you actually? I did. Oh. <laughs> One time I made a guitar just for a joke where like it was cut in the middle, but I held it together, so when I strummed it, the headstock fell right off. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're pretty good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Can just, you hold? I can hold everything. Oh, jeez. Just keep your hands away. Oh, like I said. oh boy. Okay. Woo. That was satisfying. A master guitarist. That's a luthier I'm in move love right with there. The shape of you. Wow! <laughs> it's, it Look, it smells good. It smells amazing. It does. Uh, that was a clean cut, Steve. That was a clean cut. That was a clean cut. All right. So now, how do we take the rest of it off? Did you just? Okay. So <laughs> when I picked it up and the rest didn't come, it surprised me. <laughs> there we go. It's a Kiesel. <laughs> All right, Steve. Explain the fine art of screw driving to us. So. Literally, I do not touch guitars in any way other than to play them. I will wreck it. I will wreck things. These screws are long. We were just talking about how we can't believe Ed Sheeran does this to all his guitars. It's off. Got it. Does it just come off? Oh, look at that. It just comes off. Are you kidding me? Is it gonna... So, but the problem is this is not like made to fit in there. No, not at all. And how close is it? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> Am I even gonna be able to reach the frets? Hold on. Oh yeah, no, I could reach the frets and still play it. And it looks I'm super the cool table. already. The other thing is like, because the strings are like, instead of from here to here, they're from here to here, they're gonna be all high. They're all good. They're, it's gonna sound like you're picking on the 12th fret. They're gonna be super high. Okay. They're gonna be super high. It's gonna be like a high octave guitar. However, so it's gonna, I'm a the body. we had to bring the man out. We had to. We got an idea. We were like, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Really? Oop. Should go through the middle. Go through yeah. the middle. So yeah. we're gonna have to drill right really, through eh? that trash rod, eh? Yep. Can you? Ad adjust the intonation. <laughs> <laughs> can you make it come out? Yeah, I probably can. The truss rod? Yeah. Oh, you think we don't even need it? Dude, I don't oh. need it. No. It's just okay. yeah. drill through. <laughs> Got a hammer? Oh, yes. Oh, we have. That's a good one. Good. All right, stand back. Look at that. Oh my god, did we just wreck this guitar? Yeah, I've never right. seen a truss rod either. This is a whole uh, learning experience for me. So I do want to restore this guitar into the original when we're done. Is oh. that going to affect that? Oh, not at all. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how little I know. Look at that. He's actually using the other part of the guitar neck as a shim. Yes. You have done this before, haven't you? Yes, I have not. What are we doing right now, Steve? I can't believe it. So what we're doing here is we're, uh, we are now putting the, the neck on the, uh, the body. No way. Look at this. We are on our way to an Ed Sheeran custom. <laughs> well, I don't know what it looked like before, but it looks like it's gonna string fine. Yeah, we better go buy some strings. And uh, I sell them. I sell strings. I'm only buying them if my name's on the back. Do you see, I like the super slinkies, but do you have ones that are like three feet shorter? Should we be using yeah, ukulele uh, strings is yeah. what I'm asking? Almost, yeah. <laughs> if this stays in tune, that would be something. How far is it going to be off? That's eh, well, actually not too bad. But I know these these knobs are custom edge here and knobs. You can tell by the way they're not used. used. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hate to admit that I am the slowest three stringer. I keep strings on my guitars for way longer than I should. <laughs> oh, what the heck? There's not a whole lot of options for soiling, I gotta tell ya. Sweet pick. I'm in love with the same enemy. When you were like sweet picking, it sounds like when Pac Man dies. It does! <laughs> Like normally when you bend a guitar, you can bend it up a full step. This one goes woo, straight to three. Does it go right up? Listen. Now, like, <laughs> like what the f <laughs> oh, <it does. laughs> Let's try to tune it. Let's try to tune it. <laughs> yeah, this is an octave higher than usual. It's so touchy. Either There's not way. a lot of give, that's why it's so touchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not staying in tune very well at all. This guitar quality sucks. Why would you even sell this? This is garbage. I mean, every time I tune it, it is staying in tune a little better. Like a little bit. Sheeran meme guitar, it's actually bullshit. Because here's the thing. Take, for example, the song Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. The first note is a C sharp. Only problem is the Ed Sheeran signature doesn't have a C sharp. You see, when this guitar is tuned to standard E tuning, 
it doesn't have any flats or sharps. I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with the length of the strings being shorter or something. So Ed Sheeran quite literally could not play like half of his songs on this guitar. And even then the notes are so, like listen to this. If you press down on the string even a little bit, like the notes change depending on where you are even within the fret. And if you bend even a little bit, so to play a chord on this guitar is almost impossible. I've heard better sounds come out of mine. But we're gonna try to do a couple Ed Sheeran songs just to see how it goes. It's gonna be pretty bad. I wanna be that guy. I wanna kiss your eyes. I wanna taste that smile. I wanna feel like guy. Like my soul's on fire. I messed up and the guitar sounds like balls. Very ball sacky McScrotal. Very ball sacky McScrotal. I want to thank John for help helping me with this guitar, letting me come in here and let. Thank you for letting me ruin one of your guitars. You're most certainly welcome. And Bill, thank you very much for helping me with this. Oh, you're you're very welcome. Uh, can I sell the rest of this? The rest of this? Yeah, if you can this sell is, this, this is the this is the rest of this. <laughs> if you can manage to sell that, then all the power to you. And guys, go check out John O'Casters on TikTok. Normally, I wouldn't sell TikTok, but in this case, you actually do sick content on there. John O'Casters, check it out, or I will be angry. Freaking sucks!